I have to say it before people say it. Herm! Where's God of High School? It's not like I watch your videos! As I've stated in in an update video and many streams, and what I've realized when I live streamed yesterday, just to say hello to you guys, that no one watches my videos. And it hurts! But, if you guys are wondering, uh, Monday, we're still sticking the fruit basket, but on twitch.tv slash Hermzar later today, we are going to watch God of High School. We're gonna watch it live on Twitch and then upload the VOD because I know not everyone's gonna stay up late to watch God of High School with me. But on Thursday, we'll upload the VOD over on YouTube so that way I can interact with you guys while you watch God of High School. It's an experiment that I'm doing with that anime. So just letting you guys know because I know someone's even going to disregard this beginning first few seconds of me telling you guys that God of High School is going to be uploaded Thursday, but that, that we're live streaming it today on Twitch. There's gonna be a few spams on the comment section asking where God of High School is. React to God of High School. You Motherfucker! Anyways, what's going on, husbandos and waifus? Welcome to another live reaction of Fruit Basket. In the last episode, we got like some good stuff, you know, in regards to we got some story on Yuki and his dealings with the student council, and that he needs more than just Toru to be able to to combat himself as a person and for him to grow. So he's starting to learn how to grow with the other people around him, which I thought was really cool. So, anyways, guys, we're gonna see what this episode entails. I believe it's now the second part of the season i hope we get a new opening i know we get a new opening honestly like my my computer was tripping out so i had to restart my recording but anyways let's go, let's go. But because my audio was tripping i didn't know about this part look at look at yuki alone in the dark is that the horse when she was a child man the soma family is so awkward dude <laughs> i just can't help but say it no in that in that image right here in that instance she kind of reminded me of hinata from naruto not that i finished watching naruto but it kind of reminded me of that or kohaku from spirited away I didn't even get to fully listen to the opening because the audio was fucking up. Well, I, I, I get to vibe out finally. Yo, Fruit Basket still has to miss with their openings, man. This is the fourth opening. They haven't missed yet. And just the aesthetic of it is so fucking beautiful, bro. Akito's bitch ass. Ah, uh, wow. This opening is fire. Holy shit. Oh, no. Best grandpa? Ah, uh, he's just old. I feel that. I straighten my back all the time. Shigure! Oh, whatever Shigure's doing something, I know he be plotting. Shigure's gonna go in as, as the parent. Oh, no! That sounds like a bad idea. I don't know. That sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> See, look, I'm doing something stupid again. That's what I'm saying. Oh, no. <laughs> he just wants to see Mayu. So, do we call Shigure daddy? Or watch Kyo's gonna be like, what are you plotting? I wonder if his parents knew that he was being locked up with Akito's bitch ass. Is that a Nintendo Switch? It's the man blues. Momiji's an air purifier. What the fuck is that? I mean, I understand what that what he meant by that. Momiji is it's such a weird character. I like Momiji though. <laughs> and and it's so weird, like the I just feel bad for all of the kids of the Soma family. They just have some fucked up past. Yeah, it seems like she she's has a very sharp tongue. <laughs> I like how he says that. But his but he seems so like Okay, because he has no emotion. He seems like he's dead inside. But, you know, I understand that because I'm dead inside as well. So, you know. Haru just might be my spirit animal. Lots of unknowns. I feel that. That last episode showed it. I don't think they have various things. They have a lot of things that burden them. And I don't blame them because Akito's bitch ass. Oh, no. I have a bad feeling once again. He's like, hell no. I don't got to wait for my mom's return. What the fuck? After Kagura's backstory. You know, you know what's really nice about everything that's been transpiring and seeing more of these characters? Even seeing Kagura and how she, her dealing with Kyo. It made me like her a lot more. Ooh, ditch. I never ditched high school. I wonder what her, her story is. Why Rin is so important. Uh, that's nice that that uh yuki kind of cares it's not her fault though she's not fine it is illogical <laughs> you know i'm agreeing and disagreeing with a lot of things here you know it's so it's so interesting because like what i feel like what this is kind of leading up to it's kind of leading up to that yuki is not going to be with toru look at that dead smile oh the horse! she wants a quick fuck she wants a quick fuck before you were isekai'd into Naruto. Protecting Haru from Akito. So is she is she the trump card against Akito? Is she the one, the horse, to defeat the god? Holy shit. She's a good girl. I mean, she, I know. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, hey, I've been knowing she's a good girl. <laughs> Me. Yeah, of, of course she would remember. She's hot. I like her. Really? Interesting. I mean... Uh, well, it's, it's not his fault he didn't know. I didn't know either. 
Ooh. Oh, he be looking kind of dreamy and buff. Let's go, Haru. I wonder what kyo has been thinking about lately, though. Like, why he's been so distant. I mean, I'm sure it's really, really bothering and weighing down on him. I bet I bet she's like, oh, my God. Why he looks so hot? <laughs> she's looking away because she tried not to get her knee. No, dude, that's something that I would say. Don't say that. Dude, I'm telling you, Haru is my spirit animal. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> Ew! Look, look at Yuki. <laughs> Let's go. Damn, what a weird ass relationship. <laughs> Yuki, I'm sorry. He's a mad third wheeler right now. Damn, he took that hit. He a tank. Because she's a horse. Because <laughs> she's a horse. And I'm a cow. So he's seeing the evolution of Yuki. You need to be selfish to be able to rise, though. You are weak and you are kind. It's so crazy how everyone around Yuki can see that about him except himself. He needs to be con constantly reminded about that. Oh, man. And the music. <laughs> Haru! What are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> that's beautiful. Oh, fuck. No, that, okay, that one hit me. That one hit me hard. <laughs> that one hit me hard. Oh, fuck. Yes. Thank you, Fruit Basket. This is what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted my feelings to get hurt. What is that cut on her back? Is it because she's a horse? Is Katsuya her dad? Oh, that's so sad. Dude, I'm telling you, this is playing out in Kyo's favor in terms of the, the love. <laughs> you want to grow up like Uotani? <laughs> Seems like he's kind of coming back to his old self. <laughs> this is why you're single. Um, Yuki's room is a goddamn mess. <laughs> you know, like at first when I heard him say keep struggling, it kind of sounded condescending. But now the way he's saying it, it seems like you need to struggle to be able to move past of what you're going through. Oh, they fucking never miss with their music. Goddamn. Look at this. It looks so cool. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. I think it, it, I feel like it's been a while since Fruit Basket like hit me like that. It was a really, really sharp like punch to the side of my rib. Dude. When uh, Yuki was asking her, is it okay to prioritize myself? Is it okay to be selfish? And that's one of the things that I always have to think about too. It's like, is it okay for me to put my feelings up front? I'm going through certain situations. Like right now, right before I recorded this, I just got off of my uh, my therapy. I, I just got off of the call with my therapist. And that was actually literally one of the things that I was wondering is, is it okay to prioritize myself over others? Because I feel like I'm going to be looked at as selfish if I do this and I'm afraid. There's nothing wrong with that. I think we should prioritize ourselves from time to time because if we don't do that, we're constantly going to be, be putting people ahead of us and we're going to completely forget about ourselves to the point where we're not even going to take care of ourselves. We're literally just going to <laughs> peter out out of existence to ourselves. We're going to be working so hard for other people to the point where once we're gone, who's going to take care of them because we're not worrying about our own health. We're not worrying about our own uh, uh, mental health. Uh, our social situations etc so it's okay to be it's okay to be selfish if you're feeling it's okay to feel certain feelings that you're feeling don't hold yourself back because you're worried about other people i mean yes be wary about other people be wary about how what you're doing could hurt them and etc but at the same time you also have to think about yourself especially when it comes to feeling and being able to grow because sometimes the only way you're going to grow is if you prioritize yourself at least that's how i interpreted it now haru Kiss the horse it was actually very surprising. Haru is a spirit animal to me. A lot of the things that he says is funny, like uh, uh, unintentionally. Except when he said uh, he'll die and stuff. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Relatable. And when he kissed Rin, he, at first Rin kind of struggled, but then she, I, you could tell that she missed him. You could tell she wants to be with him. There's a cut on her back. I wonder what that means. And also the fact that Kyo has been very distant to Toru. And we're wondering why. Why it's been like that. And it's nice that Yuki is the one that noticed it. And it's almost like he really cares about Kyo. He's curious why he's been acting so distant. Especially to Toru. Toru of all people. And now Toru is going through these relapses of her past. Which was relatable reason why I spoke with my therapist is because I'm having relapses of my past and this episode was extremely relatable in that sense and I think that's what makes I, I feel like this episode really highlighted itself really strong compared to all, a lot of the episodes of Fruit Basket this season hence um you know I have to say fuck Akito because fuck Akito a lot of like moments of you know anger it's nice to just get a, a moment of just 
emotion and this is what this episode delivered on so phenomenal episode from fruit basket but anyways guys that is my live reaction review of fruit basket if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys are gonna drop a like for me because that would help me a lot first of all god of high school tonight i promise okay come to twitch.tv slash hermes <laughs>